Watch you guys, moving on to part two of create Windows image template for VMware Workstation. So what we're gonna do in this one is we're gonna to go to the search box here down the bottom and uh, we're gonna type CMD here. This is where we're gonna to start to create our sysprep. So right click on the command prompt and run this as administrator. Once this is open, click yes to the user account control. This will open up a little command prompt box. From here, we're gonna type cd which is change directory to sysprep so cd space sysprep and this will put us into the sysprep uh, directory now we can type sysprep to open up the sysprep tool so this will open this up push enter now use the drop down menu on the system cleanup action and uh, what we're going to do here is go enter system audit mode and generalize and leave it on reboot and then click ok and this will then reboot the system and start to load up our sysprep ready. So this will then work away. It will take a bit of time, so be patient and let that work away. Once that's completed its task, it will then restart again and then start to boot up uh, Windows. So we're just gonna let that load up. So it's gonna start to restart and then Windows will start to uh, load, okay? So let that uh, load up. So that will then start to move on to the next stage where it's gonna start start up the services and get this all prepared for us as you can see it's getting devices ready and this will take a bit of time so i'll just speed this process up for you so you don't have to sit here and watch it but basically once this is done we can move on to the next stage we're just going to you may get a black screen here for a little while now you can see we're logging into administrator here so there we go we are now at the desktop and uh, you want to leave that box open you don't want to touch that okay so leave that as it is so we don't want to touch the system preparation tool okay so what we want to do next here is delete any user accounts on this virtual machine that we've created here so go on to the start button right click on that and then what we want to do here is we want to come down to where it says computer management click on this and this will open up uh, the computer management pane here and this will give us access to where we can go to users and groups so what we're going to do here is go to where it says local users and groups click the local users and groups and then users and then you can see the user account Brightech there I'm going to delete this because we don't need uh, the account to be there because we want to create fresh accounts every single time so we're going to delete the user accounts or how many user accounts are on there leave the default ones we don't have to worry about those just the ones we've created and now we can close that off now what we want to do here is go back to the system preparation tool and then change the drop down box to enter system out of the box experience put generalize in there and then put shutdown in the drop down menu and leave those settings as they are and then we're going to click on ok and this will shut down our uh, virtual machine again so let's go ahead and let that shut down it will take a bit of time you can see it's starting to prepare uh, to close down so just let it do its thing okay be patient and we'll let that shut down so we've got just a couple of more steps to go now so we'll just let this finish off we're going to take a snapshot and then clone our um, virtual machine so we're going to let this shut down and uh, once this is shut down we'll be able to finish this off so next up once this is closed off completely we can then go up to the top left hand corner here where it says Windows 10 x64 uh, right click on this and we're going to take a snapshot of our virtual machine so let's take a snapshot and now we've got that snapshot done we need to give it a name and I'm going to call mine Windows 10 Pro I'm going to put a dash here as well and call this template because this is going to be our template now that's done we can put description in there this description could be whatever you like sys prep patched uh, optimized whatever you want in there you can put a bunch of letters in uh, uh, text in there to let you know what you've done to that image and that template so you know exactly uh, what it what state is in okay so we're just going to put in here sys prep uh, dash and I will put patched on here as well I think yeah we'll just put patched on here because we've updated it and stuff like that and you can put uh, installed programs and stuff like that in there if you wanted to so take the snapshot here and that's now done so now we've got a good snapshot of that 
Okay, so we've got two more steps to do here. So what we're going to do next is going to go back up to the top left hand side here. And uh, we're going to right click on this and we're going to come down to settings. And up the top we're going to click on options. And then what we're going to do here is come down to where it says advanced default. Click on this part here. And then on the right hand pane here you can see enable template mode to be used for cloning so we definitely want to put the tick in there and we can then click OK and we should be ready to clone our, uh, our virtual machine here. So what we're going to do next is come up to the top left hand side here and right click on this and then where we go down to manage you should see an option for clone and we're going to now click on clone. Now once we click on clone we're going to go next and you should see it's automatically um, done an existing snapshot which is our Windows 10 Pro template that we created and uh, we're going to go next here now this is important we want to make sure that we create a full clone okay and this is going to be a complete copy of the original virtual machine as you can see there okay and this is this does require more space but this is the one that we want to click on so what we want to do next is go to next and uh, now you can give your clone a name. You can call it whatever you like, your actual virtual machine name. So call it wherever you want here. I'm going to call this Windows 10 X64. And I'm going to call this Pro. And you can call it Template if you want to on there. Whatever you want to do. And now we're going to choose a location. I've got a location selected. Click on Finish and let that clone, OK? And just let that finish off cloning here. It will take a bit of time. But once that's completed, we'll have a perfectly working uh, Windows 10 Pro uh, template where we can deploy and install uh, virtual machines with that exactly how we wanted it with all the programs and stuff that we wanted on there if you installed programs that is so exactly how you've uh, made your Windows 10 template will it be exactly how it's uh, deployed so it's pretty straightforward and easy to do and it's very very fast and a quick way of getting loads of these up and running in no time at all so we'll just let this finish off and we should get the uh, done sign there we go that's now complete and once we close this off here up the top left hand side will be where we will get our image that we've just created you can then organize these how you want and you can do other operating systems and basically set this up exactly how you want here anyway that's basically how you can set up a windows 10 template for a vmware workstation i'm just going to power this uh this template up there and you'll see it starting to load up and then it will start to deploy and then it will install very very quickly and there you go once you push that uh, Windows 10 Pro template it will start to deploy and build that Windows 10 operating system exactly how you uh, created it anyway I hope this one helps you out guys I'm not sure who voted for this video but my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos also hit the bell button if you want to get notified when I release new videos okay thanks again for you guys and I shall see you again for another video again real soon